enough of proving a point. We know you're the governor. Do we have to call him your highness instead? What do we need to do to have him start looking into these urban areas and understand you can't leave these people behind? It's not those people. It's not you people. Those comments that you heard on the floor of the Senate, I think clearly show what the problem here is. They don't care. Look, stop playing the games. This is as dishonest as a process as it gets. They're certifying and playing games, but they're playing with people's lives now. This is despicable and it is rotten. There are people that are going to die. You heard Senator Rice, you heard Senator Ruiz, you heard Senator Norcross. These aren't made up stories. These are people that are getting shot. Cities are burning. And the governor never truly explained. The revenue and the resources are available. I've seen the numbers. I'm confident in the numbers. The numbers that were available to restore some of these programs. And one of the programs that we should be talking about, and that's my next point, is the transitional aid. The transitional aid and the $50 million that was appropriated to put more police and fire on the streets. Those two issues today are life-saving measures. They're about avoiding towns uh, from declaring bankruptcy. Uh, I am quite confident that you probably will see Standard uh, and Poor's and Moody's uh, coming out with a rating in the next uh, day or two uh, that is going to show all of these cities in, in negative, credit, negative credit ratings because of losses loss transitional aid. The governor has never come to my city and said, let's take a walk up and down these avenues. Let's talk to these young people. Let me see what's going on. How do I address the violent crime here? Violent crimes in cities like Newark, from my perspective, the Irvingtons, the Camdens, the Jersey, Jersey cities, the Pattersons, the Trentons, is not an issue of priority. But these are real people. By not having this money there, the officers and the firefighters who were left in existence to do these responses in terms of whether it's the violent crime or drastic fires, those individuals will res be responding with less personnel. They will have longer response times for backups and the threat to their personal safety will increase. That is absolutely wrong. I personally don't believe that any of the people in the state of New Jersey expect the legislature or the governor to make cuts that are going to put people in additional harm's way. My, my frustration is when we look at what has occurred here, not just in the last two days, but in the last several weeks, it seems as though the Republican definition of bipartisanship is all of them and a couple of us. We, we got one vote on one bill from one Republican senator among all those things that we did. And, you know, you can look at transitional aid, and that's a big number, and the 50 million that Senator Madden was just talking about for police. I have, I have a son who's a police sergeant in Atlantic City. Senator Madden's absolutely correct. Response time, backup time. There is no backup. There is no backup. So, so police are in danger. Those are big numbers. Three million dollars for after three? Three million dollars for after three program? We couldn't get one or two Republicans to vote with us? These cities are in crisis. From over 200 million dollars plus, now down to 10 million. Now who's going to play Santa Claus? Is the governor going to rush in and say, oh, here's, here's half of what I promised you. Thank God. No, that's not good enough. Last year was cruel. This year it's inhumane to think that you can allow someone to cut to the bone beyond his budget with no explanation just to prove a point. I understand first person singular and third person plural, but I also understand when there's a subliminal <clears throat> message coming at me about who people really are. And what they're really saying is that we would help folk, but if you're asking us to help those who have the least, 
if you're asking us to help people in urban cities who are predominantly immigrants and minorities and straight single head of household women, whether they're black, white, Latino, then we have concerns about that. Well, you know what? I have a concern with your philosophy, and that's why I chose to be a Democrat. Thank you. We learned a couple of things today. First and foremost, this is day one trying to restore the fiscal sanity that was pulled from out of our urban centers and transitional aid. Um, I really thought that common sense and the realities of what we're facing would win the day, but obviously that didn't happen. So today, we have to take a look at both the transitional aid and the public safety because we're talking about people's lives here. 